How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of No Man's Land Multiplayer Survival Challenge. In the last episode we sold a lot of stuff, made a lot of money, and now we got to decide to do uh, some things with it. So we're going to look today at what kind of productions we can do and what we can do to advance to keep our uh, momentum going. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, so first things first, uh, we just got into May. I just went ahead and advanced uh, from the night to the day. So we are looking at, we sold some animals, uh, $280,000 in the bank. So we have quite a bit to do today. And we got to figure out what productions other than the oil production plant we want to put down. So that's going to be kind of our main focus for this episode. Um, I think one of the main things we're going to have to do first, though, as we all know, let's double check and see. Yep, those guys need food. So uh, let's get the wool transferred. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Do we have the weight on there? All right, we do. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the uh, wool transferred over to the spinnery. And then we may have to do a little bit of mowing. I won't do a ton. It'll be a quick little montage. Uh, probably just up and around this way. But it looks like, yep, there's our shorgum. It is going. So uh, let's go ahead and get all this transferred over. So I'm a little sad. I haven't seen anybody kind of comment and tell me what I should be doing with this money. Um, I let it run for about 24 hours and uh, I was hoping somebody would give me some good ideas, man. I'm I'm still, I don't really know what to do. I'm thinking, uh, I'm leaning towards the uh, sawmill though. I, I think I want to get that land over there up the hill and get the wood. I just feel like with cows, you know, TMR, hay, silage all that stuff will come later but I'm thinking for now I'm probably gonna go ahead and buy the land over there that has the uh, wood on it and then we'll buy this land next to us probably second afterwards so that may be what we do today first we got to figure out where in the heck we want to put an oil production plant down at so let me get all this stuff off the tractor, get the mower hooked up, and maybe while I'm mowing a little bit for the grass, I'll think about where I want to put that. I've had a couple ideas, maybe possibly down there on the other end. Um, go down there and take a look at it, but I really wanted to get... Actually, what's the price of uh, honey right now? Let's take a look and see. Honey at the farm shop is still pretty decent price. Maybe we should go ahead and sell that as it's going down, get that six grand there. And then, um, yeah, maybe we'll do that. And then I believe the farm shop has added, yep, they did, they added a farmer's market. So um, that's something that I talked about earlier on doing uh, with the farmer's market or the farm shop up there. Uh, there were just weren't enough places to sell everything. So we had productions and stuff that we could do, but there was nowhere to sell it. So what we did is we went and added a couple of sell points over there, made a little farmer's market, and that'll be usable for some of the stuff we're going to be making in the coming episodes. So... Right. Let's get this guy hooked up. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm probably just going to mow this little side and upper area right there. That should give us, I think I only need about a full wagon. Um, if we can get a full wagon, I'll be happy. So let's go ahead and do that. It should be a pretty short time lapse, but I'm going to go ahead and speed it up for you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Until then, enjoy the time lapse. <laughs>
All right, not bad. So we should have plenty of food in there for the sheep right now. So I've been thinking about what I want to do. I think we're going to go up. I want to go take a look at that wooded land and see if there's a good spot to put a... Um, all right, sweet. Yeah, we have a little bit left over for grass. We'll go ahead and disconnect this. There we go. I want to see if there's a good place to put a um, sawmill. So... I don't want to be paying a ton for construction. I want to try and find somewhat of a flat area if possible. So let's just take a drive over there and go check it out. I think there's a spot over on the other side of the hill um, that we could use. I don't want to use anything in the middle of the property. I kind of want to get around the edge if possible. Uh, just for the simple fact that, you know, I do want to turn that into a field. As, as we clear out stumps and trees and all that, you know, we, we want to turn this into a uh, field where we can throw crops down. Um, so if there's a spot maybe up in this corner that's nice and flat or flattish, yeah, this is what I was hoping for. So I think maybe we could fit a sawmill in right here, possibly. Hmm. It's a very big hill, though, isn't it? Hmm. Looks like on the bottom. A lot of trees like down here is it flat enough down here in this corner possibly this might be usable so yeah we could stick we could stick a sawmill like right here yeah this is good okay so we could put a sawmill right here in this corner maybe even angled off on this corner right here um, I think that would be usable it wouldn't be a ton of money to uh, do that there and I think, yeah, like right through here, possibly, be a good place for one. And then we could just drag all the trees down to the uh, the sawmill. And then eventually we could turn this into an irritable field and get crops down in it. So I think what I'm going to do, probably purchase that land. And then let's take a look over here. I was thinking about putting the oil refinery on this end down here. Now we have a little bit of space down here on this side, so I'm thinking maybe we put it right here in this corner that's mowed out, because that is our property line. And then we can put silos next to it, and then we can get rid of that silo once we get it empty and put more spinneries, a, um, like a clothing shop, and maybe some more sheep and stuff in there. So I think I want to stick the, uh, let's see how big it is though. Let's check, take a look, because I really want to get that down, and then we're going to have to get a wagon. Um, we're gonna need a wagon to transport our uh, canola over here. So let's take a look and see um, how big this is. One second, here we go. All right, let's take a look here and see. Um, productions, and we're looking for the oil plant, oil refinery. There it is, oil mill. Okay, how big is this guy? Wow, he's large. Okay, so I'm thinking we'd put him, like, right here. So, like, the rest of our buildings, if we zoom all the way out here. Yeah, maybe. Because the rest of our buildings, I think, are right on our property line. Let me just double-check that and see, see if they're in. Yeah, so they're just forward of the property line. So if we put it just forward of the property line... I think we'd be good. Just stick it right here in this corner, and that'd be a really good place for our oil production. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get that down, and then we'll go up and find a trailer um, to carry our stuff for us so we can get that. So oil mill is large. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, so there's our property line, maybe like right there. Looks like a good spot, right? Or do we want to catty corner this thing? Um, no, because we're going to have other stuff. I think we just do it this way. Or all of our other ones drive through this way, don't they? So we could drive through. Let me real quick. I just want to see where the interactive zones are on this thing so i know where i'm going to be picking up and dropping off at let's see here 
All right, so it is gonna put the pallets right out in front of that. So maybe we'll do it this way, because this is kind of how everything else is. And we'll know how much space we need to get in there. So I think right about there will do. Just make sure she's uh, snapped in place there. Yeah, I like it right about there. Good to me. Okay, we have an oil mill down. So we need to get a trailer. And it looks like all the product will come right out here. We need a trailer so we can put in the canola. Um, so we can start making that. Now I wonder, now that we have that down, let's look at our production line here. Okay, so canola oil. It's going to use uh, eight or 9,600 liters every month of canola to make one. So we're going to get... 4,800 liters of canola every month, canola oil. And canola oil is going for um, at the market stall. Farmer shop is actually the best. Let's see price fluctuation. Yeah, it gets up to around 5,000 per liter, so we're gonna make that that'll be about 20,000 a month just out of that if we can keep canola in there um, We'll probably have to do another field of canola, but we will have that up again next year. We have how much do we actually have? Let's see. I'm gonna drive for a second while we look um, We currently have 23,000 so um, we should be okay for I guess that's only gonna be a couple of months worth of production, but uh, we'll see what we can do with it we may Look at expanding our canola field to get more product out of that. Um, all right, so we have two hundred thousand dollars left. Let's take a look at how much the sawmill is going to cost us, because that'll kind of tell us how much we want to spend on a trailer. Um, oh, we need to buy the land too. Um, I don't know if we'll have enough to buy the land and get the sawmill right now, because I really wanted to get this guy. And that's one hundred and fifty. So what we may do is go ahead and buy the land, start stockpiling trees down in that area, and then once we have enough money, we'll buy the sawmill, put the sawmill down, put all the wood in it, and go from there. Um, so let's go ahead and go up and get us a trailer. Um, I do want to go ahead, let's go ahead and buy that land over there, and then what we can do is we can start cutting down trees. Uh, maybe we'll do a big time lapse there, cut down a bunch of trees, get the oil into the get the canola into the oil plant, get that going, and then we'll go from there. So there's our new farmer's market. Um, turn the interactive zones back off because I have them off. There you go. And uh, yeah, it's a little farmer's market. It's got a tent there so we can sell like our candies and stuff. And then also um, basically a sell point for all the other products that the farm center did not have. Alrighty. So let's see. Oh, we got some seed up here. We need to get out of here as well, but let's see what kind of trailers we have. All right. So the trailer I wanted to get was like a hundred grand, but I would love to have this guy. It's very, very large. How big is this one? 51. See, that one's 51.8 meters cubed, and that one's 59. So that's really not that big of a difference. What about this guy here? Okay. 40.8. 16.8. Wow, that's a huge difference. So I think maybe we go with this one. So if we go with this one and a dolly for now, we could tote that guy around and we could use it as a grain trailer for when we harvest as well because it will house or house the wheat and the um, sorghum and canola and everything else we need it to. So I think that's going to be our best bet. That would be nice to get a new auger wagon, huh? Does that have a horsepower requirement? Probably does. Um, Yeah, I'm thinking this guy. I like that. The only thing I don't like is it's an underbelly. 
this one it can dump a bunch of different ways. Maybe we upgraded this later in life, but for right now we spend forty thousand dollars less. Probably be the better idea. And we don't want to go with that one because there's no way this one's got way more capacity. So I think that's what we do. We grab that and a dolly. All right, let's take a look at this guy. Main color. We can go with black. Nice. I like black. Um, does that cost anything? It costs four thousand dollars to change the color, dude. Kidding me? Maybe we go with the uh, white then. Crazy. Four thousand dollars to change the color. Well, it looks like we're gonna have a white trailer then, because uh, I don't want to spend the extra money. So uh, that's basically our dolly. So let's go ahead and buy. Yeah, I think that's a good trailer. It's big. It's large. We have a couple places in. All right, so buy it. Um, get that and then we're gonna need a dolly to pull that with what do we have in here anything Ooh, cotton tag trailer oh my goodness that flatbed's in there for sale again Ooh. hmm ah oh, we can't spend the money on that right now dag gum it man i really want to get that it's not a crazy amount off so, nah, nah, we won't do that. Um, all right, let's grab a dolly. This guy right here, and let's go with. I like. I think I like this one. Yeah, that's nice. And does it change anything for the wheels? It does, doesn't it? Two hundred bucks, but I like the wheels. Okay, let's go with this. Ninety-two hundred. So that's good and we still have enough to get our um oh i know what else we're gonna need we're gonna need a winch for the um trees let's look at one of those real quick because i do want to use a winch again we have a bigger trailer now so we should be able to pull two to three trees at a time um let's see here they're really not that expensive what's this one so that requires 80 that requires 60. what's the difference other than the price. I mean, is there really a difference? There's this one. I mean, that one worked pretty well. Uh, all right, so the winch capacity is 6.6 .6 tons. The winch capacity on this is 8.6 tons. Okay, so maybe that's the difference. So we could haul more weight okay i like that and we have a weight for the front of our tractor too which is really good we need to get this at some point as well um so we can clear that out eventually i would like to get this trailer a front loader attachment and be able to do this now i wonder there was something in here wasn't there like a zip line thing what's this so 840 meters, basically you set it up and it just transports logs out of the wood for you. This yarder can be used for up and downhill yarding. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure we actually need that right now, but um, yeah, maybe we go with, let's see, how much does that leave us? That leaves us 110,000. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the larger capacity this time just for the simple fact that I like to be able to carry <clears throat> enough logs. So let's go ahead and get this guy as well. And we'll throw that on the front of the tractor and we'll grab our trailer. Just has a PTO. Doesn't have any wires. Nope, oh, no wires. Okay. So that works. We'll lift that guy up. And then we need to get the dolly attached. Get the trailer attached. And then what we'll do, we'll go ahead and get our canola into our oil refinery. We definitely need to get that done. Um there we go. This 
a little bit easier here. There we go. Should be hooked up, right? That hook up properly? Let's see. Yep, it did. It allows the toe and the brakes are off, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and open that guy up. We'll just go by and get our um, Nola out, get it over there, and then I eventually, I think I want to move the um, silo too. We'll do that maybe a little bit later. So, all right, but all is well, guys. I think we're, we're really moving along here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy that land. We'll start dragging trees down. And then we'll just keep selling honey. Oh, we need to get our honey sold. So we need to do that next. We'll drop the winch and get the honey sold. Let's go around the front here. It'll probably make it easier to get in here and load this guy. Um, so yeah, we'll get to uh, that. We'll buy the land. And then we'll probably do a big montage of just selling trees and selling honey. And once we get up to where we can afford a uh, sawmill... We'll go from there. It may take a month or two, but we should be okay. All right, well, I was wrong. We're going to have to swing around here. No big deal. Should be able to pull right under here. And there we are. Start. All right, cool. So... This thing has a couple different tanks in it. It's interesting. I wonder what the front tank can hold. So the front can hold 20,350. What's the rear hold? Well, we don't know because uh, we can't hold it all. But all right, cool. Let's go over here and get this in the plant. And then maybe, just maybe, we look at doing also, if we get the money, a uh, flower manufacturer. Uh, the more stuff we can turn into production, the more money we're going to make. Just for the simple fact that... Yep. Yeah. Unload that one, and then we'll have to switch tanks, which I believe is Alt-F, yeah. One's empty, and we alt F, and then we can unload out of that one, correct? Should be able to unload the rear one. Let's see here. Where are we at? Hip side front. Oh, there we go. That's what we needed to do. You. Okay. All right, now that we got that in, let's go ahead and get that producing. Um, it's not a ton, but it will, let's see, so it's gonna use 96, so we're gonna get like maybe three months out of that, which will give us somewhere around maybe 10 to 15,000 uh, liters of canola oil. And we're gonna be harvesting again soon, and then we're gonna need to get a bigger field of canola, so. Okay, I think we're good there. I think what I want to do is start pulling uh, trees out, and you know what I may do? I may get a stump grinder, and as we cut the trees down and strip them, we'll go ahead and uh, get the stumps, stumps out as well. I need to get all those stumps up there cleared as much as I can, because I really want to expand that field next uh, planting for the canola. I'd like to make, if possible, the... Um, canola field very very large these little dollies are hard to back but we can manage here Let's see go no, should be able to straighten her out just like that um, let's get out here that guy off very nice okay so I want to put the um, weights and the forks on get that done we can sell that cloth and all of our honey real quick 
and um, get that done and then get into doing some wood cutting. So I think that's what we're going to do now. And hopefully by next year, we'll be making lots and lots of monies. That's the kind of the goal here is to really make as much money as we can. Did I just knock that over? I did, didn't I? I doubt it'll attach now. Oh, it will. Okay. Sweet. And I don't know if you guys saw in the time lapse, I almost ran over this corner. My mouse went out on me. That was kind of fun. A little scary at the dull moment, but yeah, we got it fixed. Okay, so, um, do we do the cloth or the honey first? Let's see. Cloth prices are fabric, and it's got a really good price at the farmer's market right now. So we go sell the cloth first and then the honey. Yeah, we definitely do that. And then I want to grab, see if we can get those bags over to the uh, sell point, because I think we, can, we couldn't sell those. I tried selling them at the... Uh, farm store. You just couldn't sell them up there, which is weird. Alright, so we get to go check out the new farmer's market. See how it works. So let's run over there and sell this and uh, see what it's all about. Right, so they built a little farmer market slash sawmill here. This is kind of cool. I believe this is the farmer's market location. But yes, it is. That will get us <clears throat> 11,600. Very nice. All right, so we'll grab the honey next get all that sold where's the best place for that let's take a look uh honey is going to be still up at the farm shop so we'll go up to the farm shop sell the honey and yeah i think we'll be good so awesome we're looking really good i think we can stack some of these honey pallets let's see hmm, how many's there a lot Maybe, just maybe. I think we can stack all these and take them all at once. Let's give it a shot and see. I think we can do it. But we're at 121,000, very nice. And then we need to buy that property over there. That's gonna take 85,000. So we'll do that on the way back. And then we'll go ahead and get over there, start cutting down trees. Maybe, just maybe. Well, now nah, we won't be able to carry it back because we won't have the, anywhere to attach it. As I say, maybe we could go ahead and get our stump grinder. I would like to have that with me. Just start grinding stumps because doing it as you go is almost easier than coming back and doing it later, in my opinion. Um, it just takes so much time going back and finding them all. Ooh, knock stuff over. Okay, let's see if we can make it up there without these falling off. It's going to be tricky. Very tricky, but we can do it. So, there we go. All right, onward. We had one more left, I just didn't want to try. I felt like it would make it a little bit too top heavy and everything would fall over, so. Let's just make sure, I'm pretty sure, yeah, farm shop's the best place for this. Oh no. Oh, we only lost two. 
turned a little sharp on us there. I hate when it happens. A little delay in the steering caused the uh, little quick sharp turn to happen, which happens every once in a while. It's not a big deal, but when you're carrying honey, it is. All right, let's go get these other two big pick back up and then go grab that last one. it until it gets on the ground and we'll pick them both up. Okay. Well, alrighty then, Mr. Honey Palette. You want to play that game? Really want to play that game? That one on that fork, that one on that fork. Here we go. Another thing we're gonna have to look to do here pretty soon is um, get a flatbed. Because once we start getting um, production from a sawmill here in a little bit, we are going to have to have a flatbed and a semi to pull them to the cell point. So we're definitely gonna look into that very, very shortly and kind of go from there, so. All right, how much honey do we have left? We've got one pallet, maybe one and a half pallets. And the canola oil's going, look at that, very nice. When is that best? That's best in us, uh, so that's good. That means, so now we have something that sells kind of in the middle of winter, so we should get some good uh, prices there, so that's really good. Boy. Fertilizer's worth a lot of money. I didn't realize. What, what would it take to make a fertilizer? Hmm. That's interesting. Honestly, we don't need the weight here, so let me go ahead and I'll drop the weight and possibly see if we can't go ahead and pick up a um, stump grinder while we're up there. Here we go. Go get these sold, see if we can find a stump grinder, and then we're going to start cutting trees and stacking. I'm going to buy that land, and then we'll kind of go from there. I think that's going to be what we do for this month, and then hopefully next month, or the following, we'll be able to get an actual sawmill put up over there. Um, technically, we, put, we could put a smaller one down <clears throat> um, and do that until we can afford a larger sawmill and sell that sawmill but, but that's just a lot of buying and selling and losing money and especially on buildings usually building you lose like 50 percent which is a lot <clears throat> for a building that you put down all right let's take a look and see which uh stump grinder we want to grab i'll grab that bag maybe and take a bag with us too let's see here all right uh forest now we used this one last time and it worked really well, except for the fact that we just, it's gonna create field. And I don't know if I wanna go ahead and create little spots of field everywhere. I'm thinking this is probably the one to go with for now. So that way it gets rid of the stumps, but it doesn't create a field. Um, so let's go ahead, that'll leave us 100,000, which is plenty to get our land with and then we will be broke again but not a bad expenditure of about two hundred eighty thousand dollars you get a lot for that and we're gonna make a lot of money for that as well so here we are and let's go here and I think I can carry this bag home so he uh it's kind of cool There we 
go. Can it, there we go. Now it's out of the way. All right. So let's see here. Can we grab this bag? Lots of new stuff this episode, so really good. Bags don't like it when you turn. That's for sure. As long as we can get it home and get it in our spot, we'll be good. Um, I'd like to get it into our storage facility so that way it's not just hanging out up there. There we go. All right. Let's get the... I'm going to put the stump grinder on the front. I believe it'll be a little bit easier to work on the front. So I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to go ahead and put the pallet forks here um, by the weight. There we go. We kind of want to just flip around and get these two things. So I'm just going to grab do this right here. Um, hmm. There we go. Actually, you know what? We may have to do the stump grinding later because uh, I'm probably going to need the weight on the uh, front of the tractor to carry wood. So let's go ahead and get the weight. Um, I feel like that is doesn't weigh as much as our weight does, so let's get our weight put on. Take that with us. And let's go cut some trees down. Here we go. Alright, looking really good. So, um, that's down. That's up. Very nice. Okay, so, I think... I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but I think that's the decision I want to go with. I went ahead and bought the equipment for it because this is kind of where I want to go. Um, I'll probably start down at the other end and we'll just drag a bunch of trees over into that area where we're going to be uh, putting the sawmill down. And we need to get up here and stump grind the top of this hill. Maybe we'll do that a little bit later as time lapse as well um, at some point because when we get ready to harvest, we are going to have to... Uh, an extra little tree right there. Take it with us. All right, so we need to find out where our property line is and what we can cut down. So let's take a look at the map here. And farmland, let's go ahead. We're going to buy this guy. So we'll buy that. Good to go. It is now ours. And we can cut down trees. So let's go ahead and start cutting down trees and see what we can do. Can I cut this one? I can. Alright, what I might do to make this a little easier, I'm going to make some large stumps here. Just err, maybe on the smaller trees. On the smaller trees, I may leave the stump just a little bit larger. Um, so that way, I can see what we need to stump grind. But uh, this is going to take a little bit of our time here, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you guys. It'll be a lot of running around and tree cutting and stuff, and hopefully it's not too crazy fast for you. Um, but until then, enjoy the time lapse.
Alrighty, well that was a lot of fun. Um, we got quite a few done there, so um, I think it's getting a little dark out, and we're also starting to rain pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and advance the day, um, see where we stand. I'd like to try and see how quickly we can get back up to 150. Um, I would halfway through decided just to go ahead and mow all the stumps low, or sorry, cut all the stumps low so we could mow, and then we'll just find stumps as we mow. So we're gonna have to mow that field out anyways. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, but this winch is definitely working better than the last one for sure. Um, we were able to pull three very large trees together. So that was very good to see. Really happy with that. So let's just see where we stand here. Uh, we're sitting on a little bit here. The canola oil is going. Let's see how production wise that looks. Um, yeah, it really hasn't used much, so it's going to, it's going to make quite a bit, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, wool is doing good. That should last till tomorrow. And the cows, they're not cows, but sheep have plenty. Plenty. Do we have any that are getting ready to give birth? Yeah, we got one, four there. Uh, four there. Three there. Four there. So we should get some money from our lambs next month as well. So that'll be really good. And then, yeah, we're, we're sitting, sitting pretty good here. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the stuff uh, sold in the morning. So let's go ahead and advance the day here and get into... Uh, now, when are we going to harvest? That's the next thing i got to look at. i got to remember. So we're going to harvest in, I believe, August, correct? Yeah, we did the shorghum here. We're going to harvest in August. So we got like three months before we harvest, so we're not worried about that right now. Let's go ahead and advance at least one month here. All right, so we sold some animals, made a little bit of money. Had some animal upkeep, but we definitely made more money than we used, so that's really good. Um, we're gonna need to do the morning chores, which is getting the uh, wool over into the spinnery, and then uh, getting the pallet over here in the storage. And then I may load up, I don't, well, we don't have a trailer yet. I wanna load up these bags and see if we can sell them over there at the farmer's market and get them out of our hair. Um, I just we can't load them into anything so I don't know why they're even there so let's go ahead and drop the winch we'll drop it right next to our front loader attachment here and we'll swap the ray weight around to the rear pallet forks on and get some uh, wool moved this morning yep We need to move that uh, stump grinder out of the way to um, probably do that real quick. Let's do that real fast, get that out of the way. It's gonna come in handy later for sure. We could have maybe waited to buy this, um, but it was kind of an impulse. I was like, you know what, let's just do it while we're cutting, but ended up we're not going to do that so we'll stick it off to the side here for a bit we are going to use it for sure and then we could probably give the uh, sheep the rest of the grass there but they're doing just fine they've got plenty We may go ahead and sell the honey. Um, let's see what we have for canola oil. Maybe we have a pallet of it down there. Go ahead and get those over too. Let's go do those first. Let's go check out our new production plant here and see uh, see what we got. Okay, yes we do. We do have canola oil here, so... Um, not bad. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll just, uh, how much do these weigh? Let's see. Oh, 930 kilograms. Wow, that is, uh, somewhat a heavy right there. We're gonna have to see how much. I think we probably only carry like three of these things. It's heavy. 
Try and carry four. Maybe we can carry four. What we have to do for now is just get them into our storage facility. Now, these are going to be good through the winter. We're getting uh, some money out of these guys. Yeah, those things are heavy. I can already tell it bounced the front of the tractor. There were just three of them. And we have the weight on, so. Right, how's four of them do? Let's see. Oh, we're a little off here. Let's get right in the middle of that pallet. We are oh yeah <clears throat> that squatted the front of the tractor pretty good let's not tip over our brand new canola bottles all right so canola oil that's good um, 4,000 liters and that'll be every month too so we'll let that roll shorgum's looking good wheat's looking good everything's looking great guys I think we're we're on track here Hopefully this winter will make enough money to uh, go ahead and get the uh, sawmill in place. Once we get that in place, we're really going to make quite a bit of money. Uh, it's going to be a very, very good source of income. I think we'll sell the honey, honestly. Um, prices aren't going to get any better than where they're at, so I think we just go ahead and sell. So... Uh, We'll just we'll get the rest when we come back we'll do two trips here shouldn't take too long we'll see where the best place to sell is at on the way over but yeah we got a lot of trees cleared I'm, I'm pretty happy with the progress I made just in that bit of time there so uh, awesome uh, hey there all right let's see where's the best place to sell this at honey yep still at the farm shop so too bad Really looking forward to getting that sawmill. I think once we can start getting um, prefab walls and planks and things like that made, I, I, we're going to make a lot of money off of that. I think that will probably push us into the cattle, and we'll have cattle by next year. If we can get that sawmill up and running. The biggest thing with cattle is we're going to need to get a baler, a TMR mixer, and the cattle and the barn themselves so it's going to be probably somewhere in the range of i'd call it maybe three hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get cattle set up and then the time mowing and getting and then we also have to get a wrapper and wrap silage so it's going to take a couple months but it only takes a few months to make silage um you just wrap them <clears throat> leave them off to the side they'll ferment themselves but yeah i honestly i think maybe by um, next year now. Here's something we could do. Help push things forward. And I saw this in the comments was to add two more beehives here. I don't know if that'd be worth it or not. Um, the bees make good money, but they're, that'd be 50, what, 50,000? Are they 25,000 a piece? I need to look and see. If they're 25,000 a piece, it might be worth it to spend the 50,000 to get two more because then we would double what we're making on honey. That would actually be really good. Um, let me look at that real quick after we get this sold and see. We could always throw down another beehive here and just move the uh, pallet area forward a little bit. So. Uh-oh. I grabbed it with the wrong fork. I meant to put it on the right fork so I could put it on the other one. Let's do that. You know, eh, probably go back a little here. There we go. That will 
wasn't good, was it? Yep. All right, let's get these four sold. And then uh, I think we still need to move the wool into the... Did we move that yet? We'll have to go check and see. We may not have gotten the wool into the spinnery yet. We'll get it over there. I think it's still fine. I think it still has some in there. Let's just check real quick. Yeah, it's got a little bit, but we definitely haven't gotten it in there yet. So we need to get the wool over to the uh, spinnery and get that taken care of. And looks like we're going to definitely be making some more canola oil now. With the canola oil, we've already got $17,000 made. So... Um, I think we'll make pretty good money off of that come December time frame, which will be good because we can get a harvest in, replant the canola, and then we'll have uh, canola, canola oil to sell. Um, biggest thing, though, I really do want to work on trying to get where we can expand this field up to the top of the hill quite a ways. So that was why I was really working on that back line of wood. We'll do another session of that um, here before too long. Maybe not this episode, maybe next episode, but... Um, I want to do another big session of clearing trees and clear a ton of trees on this side of the field. And then that way we can clear a bunch of stumps, do a big session there, and then that way we can really expand that field up a lot higher. Uh, probably double or probably 250% uh, bigger field there and really just work the top of that hill with the field. So I think that'll be good. And then hopefully once we get the sawmill up and running, actually I think some of the first things we'll probably do once we get some of that money coming in is we'll probably buy a bigger tractor and spare equipment. Because our fields are going to start to get quite large and we're going to need bigger equipment, more horsepower, more stuff to be able to handle that. So. We'll end before the spinnery runs out. We hit our stack of wool again. Getting really good at that. Yep. Now, does that field look like it has weeds in it to you guys? I don't know why, just for some weird reason. No, it doesn't, but it just looked like it did for a moment. It's really weird. I looked over at the shorgum and I thought I saw weeds poking out. Which would not have been good. We do not need weeds in our field. Pretty well. Pretty happy with where we're at, really. I, I we got the canola down. We got a new piece of land that is massive. Um, Having extra land is going to be a good thing. Having the wood is going to be a good thing. And I'm almost tempted. Now, let's get this pallet in there and then see what the price is. I'm almost tempted to start selling some wood just so I can get up to getting a sawmill. But we'll have to see. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Um, if it's going to be worth it. I kind of want to save it to put in the sawmill because I think we can make the money we need to make with what, we'll, with what we have. Um, so I don't want to go selling our wood that's going to be turned into things that are going to make us even more money down the line here. So uh, we'll take a look though and see. Maybe sell a little bit of it. All right. We're looking really good. I think uh, let's check on the sheep, see how they're doing. Um, yeah, they got plenty of grass. That's really good. Um, production wise, we're doing okay. Uh, now that we got wool in there, yeah, we're good on the wool now. Canola's going to run. And then, yeah, these guys are good to go. So I think uh, all in all, not too bad. Not too bad. So... I'm probably going to go ahead and end the episode right there. Um, it was a really good episode. We got a lot done. Um, next time around, we're going to continue to clear out those trees, really work on clearing out stumps, uh, getting that cleaned up so we can expand that field all the way up through the hill there. And then hopefully we'll get up to where we can buy a sawmill and get that running. 
and kind of go from there, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was a good one. Uh, productions c continuing on. So um, hope you guys have a royal day. Until next time, take care. See you then.